It's January 8th, 2012. This is the sixth day of fasting in action by uh, Witness Against Torture to close Guantanamo. Here we have some people today, just as detainees at the White House. Frida, what all is uh, going on here today? Um, well, today we're once again on America's front porch. Uh, we're uh, reaching out to all of the tourists that are here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, um, trying to educate them about the, the real stories of the men of Guantanamo. So, uh, so this afternoon, a number of people have read stories, uh, told stories of um, innocent men detained at Guantanamo. Nabil, Hakami, um, Ravil, a number of other men. Uh, telling those stories uh, to the tourists who gather to get their picture taken in front of this august structure and, and in the hopes that President Obama can hear what we're saying and can feel the continued pressure to shut down Guantanamo. What is the reception from people walking by the White House? Well, I would characterize it as, as mostly sort of tepid interest. Okay. Um, you know, uh, people seem fairly reserved, uh, fairly ignorant, frankly, um, of the of the issue at all. Um, and then some people have actually been fairly well informed and mm. engaged in real discussion uh, with those of us here. Uh, there have only been a couple people who've been particularly hostile or combative, rhetorically, right, not physically. Um, and uh, but they've just sort of displayed their just appalling ignorance uh, about uh, the situation and uh, their willingness to swallow whole uh, the word of the government that and the word of the military um, and uh, not think critically at all. So, um, so I mean, I think I think what we're doing is really reminding people that this issue still exists, um, that that indefinite detention, that Guantanamo is still open, that uh, there are men who are still unjustly and illegally being held. Um, and I think people, for the most part, appreciate being reminded 